Hello and welcome, my fire sign friends of the solar power, Leo. <laughs> Leo the lion. Yes, it's wonderful. I, I, I mean, you guys are truly have a, a cool, you know, sign of the fire. Well, all the signs are so wonderful in many ways. Uh, but I, uh, you know, that you have the powerful sun as your ruler is extraordinary in many, many ways. So we're going to do this reading for you. I just dropped the Aries of fire sign. And, and in case you have Aries in your charts or one of your beloveds has Aries in their chart, it came out pretty cool, too. Uh, the high priestess came through and the number nine hermit um, relating that we all need to like go within and and mainly going within hermit style introspection yet to keep some of what we're realizing for ourselves as secretive okay like the high priestess doesn't divulge a lot okay that's that's she feels she she feels and that's what um, motivates her, okay? She doesn't really speak too much, so. But you also had, um, Aries had two knights as well, two young bloods. So it was like very energetic in the way of the reading. But that the high priestess came out because I wanted to say in the monthly reading this October, excuse me, this November full moon in Taurus on the 14th of November is very, very potent. Okay, it's very potent, and it's going to be a super moon. What they call when, when how the moon is rotating on its axis comes closer to the Earth, and since 1948, it hasn't been this close. January 1948. Okay, so we definitely want to, you know, release what no longer serves us, and the theme has been about us being involved in our personal transformation, all signs, every single sign, personal transformation to gently shut down uh, 2016, okay, do what you gotta do, clean house, get it all, because 2017 is going to be uh, an awakening for many in the respect, and, and, and November, this November is my fifth year entering the YouTube, and five years ago, you know, I was coming out of my spiritual closet, and, but for those of you following me who are younger in your 20s and 30s, you know, like I'll, in four years, I'll be 60. So I don't have 60 years left. But if you're in your 20s and you, you do, you know what I mean? And imagine that you can tap all these things that, you know, people like myself who came out of a spiritual closet later in life, I wish, you know, I would have done so before. But the coolest thing is about this YouTube is how many fabulous readers are out there first card in my hand how many fabulous readers are out there now and and joining in and it's wonderful it's just it, that's why it's going to be magical so you know take that personal transformation and you know take your vessel and you're going to be a vessel of light and magic okay light and magic beautiful all right, well, we've got cards on the table, and actually, I didn't even introduce this new deck that I'm working with, but it's called the Shadowscape Tarot. I just got it a few days ago, and I really like it because it has metaphysics uh, and the elementals in the respect of it. it. has dragons, it has mermaids, it has the fey realm, the unicorns, you know what I mean. I like all that. Yes, I do. And then, because of this full moon, um, the Tarot of the Moon Garden here, I want to keep because this is like, and then the magician from my monthly reading, if you haven't watched that, Merlin, the you know, the high priest magician came through, the Avalon Merlin. So we want to work with this positivity. And then for uh, Oracle Close Down, I've chosen the soul's journey for the fire signs, okay? And I really like this little book. It, I don't work with it too much, but this is James Van Prague. He's a psychic medium. Uh, to many of the, you know, notably to the stars as well. But he was um, the uh, creator and producer of uh, the go the Ghost Whisperer with Jennifer Love Hewitt. Okay, so he's been around a long time. Okay, Leo, 
and your mantra is, I will, <laughs> I will roar, <laughs> and I like it, and you rule the heart and spine, Leo, so, you know, come from your heart, you know, you're a fire sign, how cool is that, to come from your heart zone and look up to Father, Son, I mean, truly, that's, that's just magic in itself, it really is. Okay, so from the Tower of the Moon Garden, let's uh, pick another card here. Pick the first card. All right, let me take an exhale here, and then we'll start the journey. And with this exhale, I bring my belly in tight. And then I take another deep breath, inhale. And I extend my Buddha belly up. And I exhale, exhale slowly. <laughs> okay. Yes. Oh, look at this card right here. Right here. Very good. You know, some cards, when they want to come through, and for those of you who have your own decks, you know what I'm talking about. Especially the jumping cards, well, you know, <laughs> that's mystically aligned. But sometimes you can just feel it. Two came in my hand. <laughs> talking about feeling it. Okay. All right. For my Leo friends, you get an extra bonus card right here. Okay, we'll pick this one up yet. Okay. And you know, Leo, it's like you are the leader in a way, in many majestic ways. It's about leadership and being cr creative, you know, and being dramatic, but not with unnecessary drama, if you know what I mean. Okay. But you be enthusiastic because truly it's, you have a wonderful sign. You truly do. All right. The Four of Wands comes through. How lovely. Oh, we like those fours. That's all about, you know, that, that stability. That's how I like to read the fours, stability. And, and like good supply is coming. And you can see the antelopes there, but they got the unicorn horns going on. Yeah, I really like this new deck. I, I like the imagery. I like her colors. I like how it's soft but yet you get the message you know what i mean but look at the light we got right there for you solar power leo <laughs> we got the sun coming through for you right out of the gate okay and we got the fey in here i, I just received this a um, few days ago so i don't know any i mean i don't i didn't go through all the decks i don't i don't like to do that actually when i get a new deck i i yes i i um you know I'll shuffle it, I'll do it, but I don't sit there looking at every card. But see, you got the Fey there as well, okay, up in the ethers here. So it's about earth, sun, power, stability, stability on earth. And I always relate this card to the pyramids, you know. The pyramids were designed on a square, four points, into a pyramid to connect to the solar sun, to the solar stars, okay. And you received it, Leo, right here. How cool. Six of Pentacles. Wow, this, we've had Pentacles now coming through for these readings. So that's about being with, you know, grounding our mother, getting out in nature, and feeling the vibes that you can attain a, a prosperity by the way you work it, okay? And six is all... The six is all about that, you know, harmonizing number. Why I do six card spreads for these clairvoyant. And it's about having the peace, having the karma. Okay. So it's like you just you just know that that the money, the coins, pentacles is here. And and there's no reason to worry about about it at all. Okay. No, no reason to worry. You know, it's like the finances are there, not not a certain change yet, but it will come because you're working for it, okay? And you can see this, this 
elf type personality because it's earth realm uh, fade type playing some music you know so again get grounded get outdoors you know if you're a musician take your guitar out there your flute whatever it is now i can't see what's coming out of this flute though that's the thing i'm trying to like i mentioned i just i think that's just the design of it but anyway outdoors and think about peace karma and harmony when you're outside how can i bring peace i want to make my karma good so that when they come for me at my last breath i'm where i i want to be okay that's how we speak to the higher realm because truly my darlings you know we're only in a body but our soul continues and continues and continues so make sure that you make it righteous now. But we talked about it recent, uh, you know, in the last video as well. You know, it's a wonderful time to become spiritually active and take action at this time. And 2017 is going to allow it for many. Like I said, I just you know celebrating five years, but five years ago there weren't a hundred tarot card readers on YouTube, but now I think there's like a thousand. <laughs> And I think it's fabulous. Fabulous. Happy Halloween for anybody watching. <laughs> Happy Samway. Oh, my Lord. Leo, how did you do this? Leo, how did you bring the moon out? <laughs> Aries fire just brought up the high priestess. And the high priestess is all about the moon. And I was just talking about this potent moon coming up for November 14th. I mean, hasn't been another one since 1948. And you, Leo, bring out the moon. I think it's wonderful. It, it proves the power here for this table, okay? Because this is about your dreams. And introspection. The hermit card came out for Aries in case you have, you know, like I mentioned, beloved ones, or you have Aries in your chart, back to back, fire, fire. But that now the moon comes out for you because the introspection came through for Aries. Now you literally get the moon all about being psychic, mystical, the occult, being secretive. That's what we talked about in the Aries with the high priestess. She is secretive. That's what gives her her alluring drama okay that's awesome just awesome wow third card to stand up strong leo you brought out luna so you're the first to bring her out i think it's wonderful totally wonderful <gasps> look what else you bring out <laughs> Oh my lord you're on fire <laughs> the wheel of fortune is that not grand planet jupiter and that's why i truly 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 believe and look we even have leo in here look at that on um, the carousel wheel of fortune that libra going into jupiter until october 10th 2017 is going to allow many of us to now align with the spirit realm, and they're going to send their abundance towards us. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean in plata or money, but it can be. But mainly, it's going to give you the, the spirit oomph, the, the necessity in your heart. Okay, Leo, you rule the heart to say, I'm going to feel this. I want to get this. I'm going to. I'm going to. Okay? And... And you know what? You will will it because that's your mantra. I will do this. And here we have Aquarius sign as well. We've got some runes on here. I've never noticed this card. So we have a snake, a Taurus. Looks like uh, Anubis. And then your lion, Leo. And then look, we have like the Sphinx up here as well. Wow. This is so powerful, Leo. I hope you believe in yourselves. Why wouldn't you? And and put your mind at rest. We need to meditate every day an hour. That or you know, turn technology off. Whether whatever that means to you, you turn technology off and you 
do yoga exercises or you take it, you know, a, 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 you lay your body down and you think and meditate and embrace your heart zone. You embrace your feet, but however it is to you, but look at this. And not only that, we have your sun in the corner there as well. We got the stars. This is just, just beautiful. Just beautiful. And look, the stars are here for you too. So please, Libra, look up. Look up to your father, son, God, and look up to the Luna, the moon goddess. Luna, okay? You won't lose with it, Leo. You, you just can't. <laughs> I mean, how can you lose when you are ruled by the sun? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> and your totem animal is the lion, majestic. Like, I don't think anybody can mess with the lion too much, <laughs> except people with guns. Every time I think about that gorgeous male lion shot by that woman, I don't know. <gasps> Ooh, looky here. You get a trunk, uh, you get a wild card. The Dragon Tarot by Terry Donaldson, designer, and Peter Prochnowick. Yeah, I've had this deck way before YouTube as well, and I like it a lot. Okay, so wait a minute. Let's just take this moment and pull you an extra card. Yes, and here it is. Okay. So, let's see what your double whammy is. <laughs> Leo, how are you doing this today? You get the king of coins. So, no doubt about it. Leo, you see how this image is? It's just flowing out. You know, but this is more like you haven't made the big treasure chest hunt yet, but it's coming. And then it comes with the double whammy of the king of coins, right? Leo, you're the king of the jungle, so why not be the king of coins too? How wonderful. This is truly wonderful. The king of pentacles, the king of coins, you know, just the king of earth. You, please, Leo, you're a lion. You ruled the, the deserts of Africa over there, so please, Get grounded, get outdoors, walk barefoot where you can in the respect, you know, that it's, you know, be careful where you are, of course, but, you know, like if you can be on by the beach or something, get grounded or in your own backyard, whatever it is for you. This is, this is, I have to say, this is the most power I've had so far in November. Even though all the reads have been like stand up strong. Look at that. Standing, standing, standing strong. Wonderful. I want... <laughs> Leo, look what you brought forward. <laughs> I'm sorry. My favorite queen of fire is here. The queen of wands. This is, this is awesome. This is true leadership right now. This is true leadership. Look, we even have the pyramids here. We even have the pyramids that we were sharing when we opened up the reading. You know how the force, the stability. And look, we got Luna in here too. We got Luna here too. So we got, wow. We got Luna. Really, truly, this, and the Wheel of Fortune, how are you going to deny that? This is like, wonderful. Wonderful. And then you get the double whammy of the king of coins coming through. See, you got to look up to your son, Lord, and pray. And Luna, we've been saying that for a couple years now on this channel, how look up to the moon. Because the coin is on the table, and you can be the king of coin. And we don't um, read gender specific on this channel. This is for all people. For those of you wanting to put the effort into it and the strength, like a Leo lion, strong. How beautiful. Wow. Okay, well, let's stand these strong for the moment there and we'll relate back. There you go. Knight of fire. Knight of wands. He's 
He's I talk about him all the time. He's the charmer. He's the, you know, the playboy of the group. But he's fabulous. <laughs> yes, he is. Wow, Leo. Fire, fire in la casa. Look at that. The knight and the queen comes through. The king of coin. This is just like, and the wheel of fortune. I, the wheel of fortune doesn't come out a lot. And look, you got the sphinx and the lion in this image. This is like a double whammy itself. Aquarius in here. I'm not certain what this. Oh, I think yeah. Is it Earth? I'm sorry, but anyway, snake, Taurus the bull, which this full moon. Luna is going to be in Taurus, okay? Another. <laughs> wow. Another potent, majestic uh, totem animal, Taurus. You know, ruled by our Venus. So there can be potentially love as well. Now, I have to say this animal right there is Anubis, which is the, you know, the sort of like, the dark lord canine of the Egyptians that when you were past, Anubis was there. If your heart didn't work out right and you were cold and wicked, he could eat you up. <laughs> yeah, he could take you out. But I don't feel that at all. I'm just sharing that because this is just, wow, Leo, every card is just deliciously awesome. It's, yeah. I have to say, this is beautiful. This is really, boy, Leo, if you don't take advantage of these cards this month, especially with the moon, please, I beg of you, please, you receive the moon for this month. And this, this, this moon is so potent. Like I mentioned, there has not been a, she's going to look larger, like 14% larger when we look at it. Wherever you can see her, hasn't happened since 1948. That how she's on the axis is so close to the earth. It's wonderful. Oh boy, be generous this month, November, Leo, with your loved ones. Be generous with yourself emotionally. Uh, this has been a wonderful reading, really. Power. Everything has power, 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 power. Luna power. My goodness. She's so powerful. It's amazing. NASA's afraid of her. That's why they don't go to her anymore. Change. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. There we are. There we are. And we talk about that. Uh, yes. Because actually for Aries, in case you have Aries as well, fire, fire. Back to back, um, the Five of Swords came through, and that's about change movement. So you're getting it as well. And there's a reason for that. But never fear change. Change is always good. Change, even if you're forced to change, there's a reason. Sometimes we're forced to, you know, go through things, but then there's a miracle in it. You know what I mean? There's a blessing in disguise, as they say. Change. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. There is a certain comfort in the idea of living a life without surprises. Wow, I love surprises. <laughs> Go for surprises. The status quo has an appeal, but you will never learn or grow if your circumstances stay the same. Everybody wants life to be better, but that requires change. You have, and look, look, what a beautiful life to change. Look, look what's going on here, Leo. They're going to change for you. And that Wheel of Fortune card came through. I'm just so happy. I mean, and, and it has your images of all over it. Got to change now. Got to move. That's what we were just saying with, sharing with all the, uh, I think this is the fifth read that I'm doing for the month of November. And it's like gently close down. 2016, because 2017 is going to be the year of changes, big changes for many. Everybody wants life to be better, but that requires change. You have chosen to 
incarnate into this physical dimension called Earth because of the myriad of opportunities. If you don't take advantage of them, what is the point? Staying within your comfort zone is overrated. With change comes transformation. Oh, my Lord, transformation. This month and closing down 27, and especially 2017, closing down 2016 and 2017 is all about personal transformation, okay? Personal transformation, taking our soul, you know, the soul has a goal. It just came out for the last thing. The soul has a goal. So we want to make sure we are aligning with our soul's purpose, okay? What we came here to do, and we've done it many, many times, so we should consider we can do it again. We're just in this vessel, but we want to have a personal transformation towards our vessel into light and magic, okay? That's how we're looking at it. And you have the power of the light beyond Leo with our Father God's Son, okay? It's, it's beautiful. Okay. Staying within your comfort zone is overrated. With change comes transformation, and with transformation comes evolution. Beautiful. There it is, Leo. You brought it home for all of us now. And with this reading, now I'll, I'll make sure everybody understands with this personal transformation comes evolution. I'll add that now from here on out. Stop viewing change as good or bad because all change nourishes your soul. Don't equate it with a lack of control. Life happens, and it's supposed to happen. You can direct it how it plays out, and you always have the power to accept a change that redirects your path. There you go, my darling. Redirect your path. Why not? Embrace your sun star. Embrace the moon. Okay? Look at this. The king of coins is here saying no worries about money. You know, when you put money worries into your thinking, then your heart gets, you know, scared and worrisome. You know what I mean? We, we don't want to go there. Give it up to the universe and give it up to that sun star of yours. No doubt about it. Because there's stability and good supply coming. And wow, how can we deny it when this wheel of fortune comes through with your totem animals all over it. It's wonderful. And look at this. Fire, fire. <laughs> young blood, young energy, and yet mastery of oneself in the fire realm with the queen of wands. I think it's wonderful. Be creatively generous with yourself, Leo. Do not deny you can do this. We, you can do this because if anyone, you know, you have that majestic totem that's come through already and the coin is here, but but that moon has come through for you is exquisite. Just so you have both the sun and the moon shining on you in this month and with eloquence of, you know, making it all happen. Even the king of coins is here to say, even if you, you know, the wheel of fortune comes and brings you that prosperity, you know, resource wise, you'll know how to handle it because you've come through as the king. Okay. It's, it's wonderful. And the knight as well. I mean, the uh, knight of wands and the queen of wands as well. Fire, fire, fire. And you know, our sun really is the light that gives Buna her beautiness and fullness. So remember that, Leo. Remember. Love to you in this month of December, okay? I mean, November. In November. I'm, I literally am. I'm, I'm trying to shut down 2016 very gently myself. I have some, I'm going into my second construction thing to make that extra room now in a new reading room, but I can't wait for 2017. I'm telling you, Jupiter and Libra, till 
October 2017 is delicious. Kisses to you all. Have a lovely month of November, Leo. You deserve it.